Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Kensington and it is officially spring and there's loads of wisteria around. I actually wrote a blog post on where to find the best wisteria in Chelsea and Kensington and it was very popular so I thought I'd kind of turn it into a video and show you a few more places too. So currently I'm standing on Sumner Place which is SW7 and there's a few houses with wisteria behind me. You can't miss wisteria. Um, it blooms in London for a very short period of time. It kind of starts to bloom around April time and sometimes it hangs around until May. So just as the cherry blossoms are slowly starting to die off, that's when the wisteria starts. And you've only got a really short sort of pocket of time to try and get that gorgeous purple shot for Instagram. I mean, I'm guessing this is why you're watching this video anyway. So let me show you some of the best houses with incredible wisteria. Come follow me. Obviously, like how close you get to the wisteria is kind of at your own risk. Some people don't mind sitting on other people's doorsteps, other people get seriously offended by this and like ran on Twitter about it. Um, it's your call, do whatever you want. Sometimes actually homeowners are pretty nice, maybe not in Kensington because I think they hate mobbers here, but they are pretty nice and like sometimes I'll be shooting outside someone's house and they'll be like, oh, do you want me to take a photo of both of you for you? And they're super friendly about it. Um, also, just be careful because bees love to like live in wisteria. I found that out, out the hard way last spring when I went to like grab some wisteria to smell it. Yeah, not a good idea. But let's go further down the road and see if we can spot any more. Okay, this is Elm Place, SW7. Look at this wisteria. Okay, on my way to my next location, I just spotted a bit of wisteria and I wasn't expecting this. It is a bit unusual, but let me show you. So I have to show you from across the street. I think I'm on a road called Beaufort Road and this wisteria is not that high up. So I thought this would make for a really nice picture. Sometimes just gotta try it out and see. I'm now on Park Walk and oh my God, look at this house and how much wisteria it has. It's absolutely incredible. And this house is really well known because they ask you to leave a donation for charity for Alzheimer research. If you like want to take a photograph, so you're allowed to go inside and do whatever you want. Well, take a photo, obviously. <laughs> the charity actually changes every year. And in fact, it says that this house, their wisteria is famous and it's been photographed and featured in publications worldwide. I know last year when I came, they had like a little box here to donate money in, but I don't know where it is this year. But yeah, anyway, on this road, to the left of it, there's another house which has incredible wisteria. <laughs> now this house is so nice. It's just a bit of a shame because I don't, well, you can, if you want to, try and like go up to their doorstep and take a photo um, if you want to, but not everybody will. And on the other side of this house, there's another one with wisteria, but again, that one's quite hard to photograph unless you sort of go way in. But with this one, at least you know that you're allowed to, so you can get as up close and personal as you want to, really. <laughs> Look 
Look at this gorgeous house. This is also Priory Walk. And last year, the homeowners actually let me take photographs right in there because they were at home. And they're more than happy to let me sort of stand there and take some pretty photos. Just look at this house, wow. This wisteria is definitely one of my favorites. How gorgeous is this? And you can smell it from so far away as well. It smells like spring. It's actually my first time coming to Cheney Walk. God, my forehead's so like shiny because it's like 27 degrees out here today and it was sun in the shade. Um, so I thought I would like take my own photos outside this house, which is absolutely incredible. And this man that was riding past on a bike just stopped to have a little chat with us and he was very posh, very Chelsea slash Sloney. I think that's what they're called. And he was like, oh, I used to live here. And he said, do you know who used to own this house? And we were like, no, <laughs> we're just here looking at Wisteria. Apparently Mick Jagger used to own this house. This man worked for him. He built his swimming pool in the back of his house and lived here for two years while Mick Jagger was on tour. And then he said his wife lived in it and then his daughter, he's going back about 30 years and he doesn't know if it's still owned by Mick Jagger but I mean like what a story eh like this is incredible anyway this house is so beautiful and it's such a great location I would love to live here you won't be able to see but literally from the house you'd sort of cross through there and that's the Thames just across the road There's about 10 or so um, amazing houses with Wisteria in this video. There are obviously so many more in London. I wanted to go to Knightsbridge to check out Trevor Square and there's Holland Park. There's like loads of other streets. I wanted to try and keep this all condensed into like the Chelsea area. Maybe a little bit of Kensington too. Just so that it's easy for you guys to sort of like get around and like you know go to like multiple houses all at the same time. So I really hope you found this video helpful. I will link my blog post down below in the description box because there are definitely more streets on there that I've listed. Just in case if you want to venture a little bit further out of Chelsea and find some more houses with this gorgeous posterior, you can honestly smell it before you see it sometimes. It just smells of spring. It's incredible. But anyway, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And also turn on notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.